Hi Special Agents, Commander G here with some new maths help for you now. We've started lots of training for the arithmetic practice paper. Here comes some maths reasoning paper practice. This is an introduction to year two reasoning paper and some practice questions on number and place value. In the reasoning paper, we have to read maths questions which cover all areas of maths we have learned about in year two. And the first page has always got a picture of some children along with some names on it. The paper uses children's names in the questions, so you're introduced to these words so you know what they mean. Aim, so on this page, the girl is called Amy, the boy is called AJ, and we've got some other names along the bottom, Sam, Ben, Sita and Kemi, and that means that you may well see these names in any of the questions you read in the whole of the reasoning paper. The first few questions you have, a grown-up will read to you. You can see there's no question written down here, so let's have a go at some of these together. Circle the longest key. Circle the longest key. Now we know this word in a special agent task, it just means put a circle around it. Think you found the longest key? There it is, that's all you need to do to get that point. Well done. Okay. How many dots are there all together? How many dots are there all together? Now what it wants you to learn here and remember is that all together means you add them up. So just count the dots, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. And as for the arithmetic paper, your answer goes in the blue answer box. Well done, special agents. Now, I have the number 40 and the number 7. What is the total of 40 and 7? What is the total of 40 and 7? This wants you to remember that total means add them together. Tens add ones, pop goes the zero. 40 add seven is 47. Well done, and the answer just goes in the box. Fantastic. Okay. This question was, what day comes after Thursday? What day comes after Thursday? And you would of course tick Friday because the days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well done. Mrs Gillette gave you the answer there, special agents. Okay, after a few of these types of questions, the questions are then changed to be written down. A grown-up can read most of the words to you, but not any that are in bold, and that means black, dark black writing. But I want you to always have a go at reading all the words yourself too. Now today, Mrs G is going to read the questions to you because I'm special agent training. And I would advise that you read all the words on the page. So this question is just to show you what bold means. So it says circle the, and then there's a number word in bold, and that is three. Dice that add up to, what is that number word? 13. So in that question, you would circle three dice that add up to 13. Okay, now we're, there you go. So those, the words three and the number 13, they are in bold. So... Some questions in the reasoning paper will check your addition skills and your knowledge of place value. So question one, write the missing numbers. 79 is the same as 70 add what? Tens and ones. 23 is the same as what? Add three. My first piece of advice is think about the top question first then the bottom question and don't rush. 79 is the same as 70 add, well seven is the 10, 70, and then we just need to put the ones, so we need to write nine in that box. 23 is the same as what add three, so we've got the ones, we haven't got the tens. What does the two stand for in 23? That's right, it stands for 20. We just partition in, let's split it up into tens and ones. Let's split it up. You've got to put an answer in both of the boxes to get that point. So you've got to be very careful that you don't rush and you don't miss anything out. Okay, remember we're going to read everything before we think this through. Question 10. Sam has four number cards, 10, 20, 30 and 40. Use three of his cards to make these correct. So you will have one left over. So you've got those four numbers. You're not allowed to make any other number up. So 27 add one of those numbers is 67. I'm going to count on in 10s from 27 to see if I can get to 67. 27, 37, 47, 57, 67. Oh, I've got four fingers up or four tens. 40. 
is 40 a choice for me yes it is so I'm going to write 40 in the box and then so I don't get mixed up I'm going to cross the number 40 out because I've already used it here comes a top tip cross out anything you've used when you've put it in a box so you don't reuse it okay 54 take away something is 34 I'm going to count backwards in tens to help me with this one 54 44 34 I've got two lots of 10 up 54 take away 20 is 34 because 5 tens take away 2 is 3 tens so 54 take away 20 is 34 I'm going to cross 20 out so I don't forget that I've used it something add 88 equals 98 so I've got 88 eight tens but I need 9 tens is it 88 add 30 is 98 or 88 add 10 is 98 what do you think pause the video and tell someone at home 88 if I count in tens 88 98 it took me one 10 so the answer is 10 you've got to fill in every box to get the point for this question okay well done guys next one nine put a digit that just means a number into each empty box to make the calculation correct something add something equals 29 top tip label the tens and ones in two digit numbers if it helps you so let's put our tens and our ones and we can write that above them we can also do this in the arithmetic paper can't we so we've got one tens and some units and some some tens and three units and we're trying to make 29 so we need two tens we've only got one ten at the moment so one add what will give me two tens that's it one add one is two so we've got now we've got to look at the units we need nine units we've only got three so let's count on from three and we should get the answer six six seven eight nine so now we've added the digits the numbers in to make this calculation correct 16 of 13 is 29 well done okay number seven each pair of cards has a total of 70 write numbers to complete the pairs one is done for you now they always give you an example so you know what to do we're trying to make 70 so 50 add 20 is 70 because 5 tens add 2 tens is 5 6 7 and all of these are multiples of 10 they will all have a zero at the end so 10 add what is 70 we've got one 10 we need seven tens one add what is seven one two three four five six seven we need six tens and no ones okay so we need 60 10 add 60 is 70 what about this one something add 30 is 70 we've got three tens three add what is seven three four five six seven we need four tens and no ones so we need 40 and you need to write a number in every box to get that point well done guys okay number four write each number in the correct box one is done for you so you've got the numbers 33 but they've crossed that one out that's just to show you what to do 17 12 and 28 and we've got to put them in the boxes if it rounds to 10 round to 20 or rounds to 30 now we've thought about rounding in class when we round we think about which tens number is the closest and it's the units that tell you here so one two three or four go down to the tens you started from five six seven eight or nine go up to the next tens on the number line so they've put 33 in rounds to 30 because 33 is closer to 30 than it is to 40 let's have a look at 12 12 is is 10 is 12 closer to 10 or is it closer to 20 it's only got two ones so we go back to the tens we've already got and 12 has got one 10 so that means that we go back to 10 so 12 rounds to 20 uh, sorry 12 rounds to 10 and then we cross we cross that out so we remember we've done it now look at 17 one 10 and seven ones five six seven eight or nine go up to the next tens on the number line is 17 closer to 10 does it round to 10 or is it closer to 20 does it round to 20 well we go up to the next tens and the next tens number after 10 is 20 so 17 would go in that box don't forget to cross it out when you've had a go now what about 28 28 
Is it closer to 20? Does it round to 20? Or is it closer to 30? 28. It's got eight ones, five, six, seven, eight or nine, go up to the next tens on the number line. The next tens number after 20 is 30, so 28 rounds to 30. Okay, look at all the work you've got to do to get that point. Well done, great try. Okay, number two, Ling is going to write these numbers in order. 45, 54, 32, 23, 40. What number must she write in the white box? And we've got to pay attention here to, we've got to go from the smallest to the largest number. Now, what I would do first is write the numbers in the right order myself. 23, 32, 40, 45 and 54. You can always rub the other numbers out or think it through and not write them down. Okay, you would still get the point if you'd put all of the numbers in the boxes. Okay, fantastic. Well done. Okay, number three. Look at the number sentences. Use the number 46 and 54 each time to make these correct. So this is trying to see if you can remember what you know about addition and subtraction. You're moving the numbers around. You don't actually have to do any working out here. We need to use what we already know about addition and subtraction to fill in those parts first. So when we add, we always end with the biggest number. So 54 is the biggest number. So I'm going to put 54 at the end of both of those addition sums. Now subtraction is the opposite and we always start with the biggest number. So I'm going to use what I know about subtraction and put 54 at the beginning of the subtraction sum. And then all we need to do is put 46 in the empty boxes. So, oh, yes, we know 54, we subtract from the biggest number, well done. And then we put fill in all the boxes. We've got to put a number in every box to get the point we can't leave any boxes blank well done okay fantastic oh excellent work well done okay number five the numbers on this number line go up by the same amount each time write the missing numbers in the boxes so top tip we need to work out because it doesn't tell us whether this number line is counted in ones twos or fives let's try ones first 20 21 22 23 40 nope that doesn't sound right what about twos 20 22 24 26 40 no it can't be that one 20 25 30 35 40 oh yes that works we're counting in five so let's fill in the numbers using our five times table 20 25 30 35 40 well done we've just got to stop and do a bit of working out first of all okay last question for today using the greater than or less than greater than or less than just ask the croc he only eats the biggest number and he don't stop number six look at these numbers zero 14, 50, 61. Write each number once to make these correct. Now all you need to do is pick one of the biggest numbers and put it in the box here because his mouth is facing that way. So I've chosen 61. Then I just need a number smaller than 61. So I'm going to cross out 61 because I'm only allowed to use it once. Then I'm just going to pick a number that is smaller than 61. So I've chosen 14, cross that one out. And then I need to choose the biggest number out of the cards that I've got left. Well, 50 is the biggest number. I cross that one out. And then the last number is the number I haven't used yet. And that is zero. And I would get a tick for all those work. Okay, there's going to be lots of help coming your way about the reasoning paper, special agents. Well done for taking the time to train at home. Leave me a like if you're going to be coming back next time. Bye for now.